Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be listing the key features for sunlight science and apologia science so you can see which would be a better fit for you. I'm going to be showing you guys inside of both of them and what that looks like. If you're new here, Welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, the Happy Homeschooler. I make videos every single week about homeschooling, curriculum, and books. And if that's right up your alley, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the next one comes out. Okay, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with Apologia. This is the textbook, the teacher's guide for Apologia. This is the, they call it a journal, but the um, Young Explorer series, but this is the journal, the student workbook for Apologia. The textbook on the Apologia website, which I will have linked below, costs between about $33 up to $42. When I looked at it last, it was on sale for $33, so I can't guarantee that, but that's how much it cost when I was looking last. The journal workbook was anywhere from $22 to $29, and again, I'll have these linked below. So core features. So one of the things I've heard people mention that they really like is the fact that Apologia has one focus. So if you're doing Apologia for the year, for your science, it's got one focus. And this is a pretty dense book. The way that this would work is you would buy both of these books and there's no other, um, any, like any added things that I know of. What it is, is you have like one lesson and you may spend two to three weeks on that lesson. There's only 14 lessons, and if you're doing a 36 week school year, obviously you're gonna have you know, multiple weeks in each lesson. That is one of the things just to keep in mind if you're working through this, it's not really gonna be a day by day aspect. Um, it's definitely not gonna be a day by day. It's going to be a week by week or a lesson by lesson. And you're gonna kinda need to still plan out a little bit of what you're doing because you need to know how many lessons or how many pages or what, however you wanna break it down, you need to figure out how many you need to do to complete the entire book by the end of the school year. For example, in the anatomy and physiology book under lesson one, we've got introduction to anatomy and physiology, history of anatomy and physiology, ancient Egyptians, ancient Hebrews, and so on. So this can definitely be a pro if you wanna have one main focus for the entire school year for your student and you get a really deep dive. There are a lot of science projects in here. One of the things that Sunlight does differently is that they provide that, so I'll go into that a little bit. I prefer that Sunlight provide that information, like they provide any like added little things that you may need to create your science projects and Apology doesn't do that. Apology is just textbook work. Okay, so they do have a lot of science experiments. I'm gonna share one or two of them with you just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Project, edible cell, you will need, and then they will give you a pretty extensive list. This will be the nucleus. I know that I personally, when I was doing, um, when we were working through this, um, we were in a group, we were doing it as a co-op and um, I don't live in the same area so I can't go to the co-op anymore. However, the science projects we would do as a group and to be totally honest, that is the only way I felt it was very feasible to accomplish how much stuff they had going on. And so we'd spend an hour, hour and a half on one specific week's worth of science projects and even in that week's worth, we'd only choose like one or two of the science projects, not all of them. So. Um, I would say Apologia is a great curriculum if you want to focus on one thing, you want to do it textbook style, and you want to do a lot of science experiments. I'm also going to show you inside of the notebook. Okay, so the way that it would work is that I would read some of this, some of the, the teaching guide. I would read that, then my son would fill out um, fascinating facts. He would fill this out, lesson one. He would fill this out. This is for like drawing if you want to draw something. Um, and then obviously the writing. So for this full assignment, it's got this little bit here. It says cell anatomy, the study of a cell. I would like for you to get a piece of paper and illustrate each part of the cell that we, we discuss. It tells you right here, you can use the anatomy notebooking journal that was made for this course, or you can get a blank notebook that will you'll write and draw on. If you are using the anatomy notebook journal, make your drawing on the page that says cell anatomy. That is just one little portion of this whole big first lesson 
And then you have a what do you remember? And so they would also do this in co-op. What do you remember? They go through the um, different things that were taught in that lesson that week. Next up we have sunlight. So this is the master like teacher's guide. And I wish I could show you just specifically the science, but I can't, but it's in here as like a part of it. So this is the science for Core D. These are the workbook. This is for the kids. What are kids learning in Core D? Uh, for sunlight, biology, taxonomy, and human anatomy. The sunlight price ranges from about 211 to 280. However, <laughs> it comes with so much more in my opinion. So sunlight comes with the teacher's guide, the worksheets, the books, and the things you need to do the stuff, like the science experiments. The only things you need are very small, limited um, amount of things you would have around the house that they list for you week by week. So inside of this box, we'll have some seeds, because I know we're planting seeds. Um, there's soil, there's packets of soil. Um, there's actually quite a bit of like stuff for plants because we're doing planting and learning about gardening. <laughs> I'm sure there's a technical word. Right off the bat, a big, like, huge, huge thing for me is that it's not just a textbook. I way prefer books like this. A lot of these are science books. I mean, this this one is also very still, I mean, uh, I won't say textbook, but there's, you know, a lot going on. And it's, there's still a lot of learning. I remember this book. We had so much fun. Um, here it is, The Real Science for Kids. So yeah, Real Science for Kids is what we start with. I, I just really liked the way that Sunlight did it. I also thrive on the things that are easily written out for me. I don't like trying to come up with it myself. I don't like having to make decisions as far as like, do we need to do this science project or one of these other five options? Sunlight makes it very clear. You do these lessons, you do this science project, you read these pages and you answer these questions. Like so simple, so clear. And I love that about Sunlight. I feel like they made homeschooling so easy. Um, I do think that Apologia, like you learn a lot and you get really involved in that one um, subject that you're going through. So when we did uh, astronomy, I did astronomy and my daughter was in second grade and she loved it. She learned a lot, I learned a lot. And that was really interesting. But I did go back to sunlight as soon as we weren't doing it as a group, as a co-op. Sunlight is the way to go, I feel. For a family that's working on their own individually, I preferred Sunlight's method a lot better. So to wrap it up, Apologia is definitely a more affordable option. I'm just gonna be completely honest, they are more affordable. Um, and a lot of their science projects you could have around the house, like they, um, you could do with materials that you have around your house, which is great and which is super, super nice. So I'll definitely have that linked for you guys below. I prefer Sunlight, I prefer their method, I prefer the way that they teach with all the books. I, per I like the way that they build on their what they teach. My son in first grade is learning about animals, taxonomy, however he's also learning mechanics and he's also learning human anatomy. So they do a wide range and then they just build. And so um, I like that, I've said that before. I don't like doing just one study of one thing per year, I feel like a, maybe it gets a little bit boring. B, then they're only learning that one thing. And I like that Sunlight teaches multiple aspects of something. Because when you when you get tested, just for, for as an example, at the end of the year, when you do testing, they're not going to be like, well, you studied astronomy this year, so we're only going to ask you about astronomy in your science questions. No. <laughs> they're going to ask about everything. So... I do prefer the way that Sunlight kind of uh, prepares you for that. They give you everything, um, all the different things that they are teaching. And they do have one main focus every time, every year. However, they are not just teaching that one thing and they're building on it. They're teaching multiple things in a year, which also kind of breaks it up a little bit, I think, makes it a little bit more fun. Um, and then they have the box of helpfulness. <laughs> very, very helpful to me, like random little things that you may have in your house and you may not. So I find this very, very useful. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I know that when I was looking 
Uh, I didn't really see a lot of uh, YouTube videos about what kind of science was out there, so I hope this helped you guys decide if Apologia or Sunlight would be a better option for you and for your kids. Like, do they do better with learning multiple things because they would be bored by one? Do they like the hands-on projects and like the creativity in Sunlight? Do you want a daily schedule? Would you rather just do it, you know, however you want with, you know, Apologia gives you that you know, flexibility of, um, or rather, you know what, I wouldn't even call it flexibility. <laughs> With Apologia, you know, it's 14 lessons and you break it up however you want. But some like you can do it however you want to. So anyway, just kind of decide what works for you guys and your family and tell me below what you're going to use this year for your science. Um, we will be doing sunlight science. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you guys on the next video.